In this overview, we'll walk through the strategies developed by Jim O'Shaughnessy and outlined in his book, What Works on Wall Street. Here's the key fundamental investing insight I'd like to share with you. In determining strategies that work over long periods of time, it's important to focus on long-term data rather than human intuition. What O'Shaughnessy showed is simple value and growth strategies can work very well over time, and combining them together can even produce better results. At a high level, O'Shaughnessy's book featured two investing strategies, the cornerstone value and cornerstone growth models. The growth strategy looks for companies with persistent earnings, high relative strength, and reasonable valuations. The value strategy looks for companies with strong sales and cash flows and high dividend yields. As I mentioned, these models are based on Jim O'Shaughnessy's seminal book on quantitative investing, What Works on Wall Street. The combined cornerstone growth and cornerstone value models in O'Shaughnessy's first edition returned 17.1% per year from 1954 to 1996 in the back test run by O'Shaughnessy. This was well above the market's return of 11.5% over that same time period. The investment thesis is this, by combining small cap growth and large cap value, investors can get exposure to very different types of stocks and areas of the market. And when combined together, these two models can produce strong risk adjusted and market beating returns. Now let's take a look at the cornerstone growth and cornerstone value models as outlined in Jim O'Shaughnessy's book, What Works on Wall Street. This is based on his first edition. The cornerstone growth model starts by removing stocks that are too small to be invested in. So here, the first step in the screen is to screen out stocks that have market caps of below 150 million. Next, it looks for consistent profits. So it looks at an earnings persistent measure. This wants to see that earnings are growing each year over the last five years. Valuation is important. So this growth model looks for stocks that trade at price to sales ratios of less than 1.5. And lastly, price momentum is also considered. So here what the model is doing is it's looking for the top 50 stocks based on the relative strength that pass the rest of the model's criteria. The cornerstone value model is really focused on large cap stocks. So larger companies are favored over others. To start, the model looks for companies that have at least a billion dollar market cap. From there, it wants to see strong cash flow. So cash flow per share needs to be greater than the market's average cash flow per share. It continues to target large firms by looking at shares outstanding. So it wants to see that the company's shares outstanding are greater than the market average, and also that the trailing 12 month sales are greater than the market average. Lastly, it sorts on dividend yield. So the stocks that pass all of the criteria outlined just a moment ago are then sorted by dividend yield and the top 50 are included in the model. Investors looking for simple and time-tested investment strategies that combine elements of both growth and value may find these models effective in identifying stocks that have characteristics of being strong performers in the future.